Hello, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to demonstrate back cleaning hacks for some dirt, which includes milk, dark soy sauce, tomato sauce or ketchup, coffee, chili oil, whiteboard, and permanent markers, which will be poured, spread, drawn on the Donut Macaron Classic Reborn series and a low two-way micro shoulder bag and Fiel Revan Concan regular fox strap. Before that, let's roll that short little intro. Disclaimer, you should try the different cleaning methods at your own risk, as the cleaning tips below may or may not apply to all bags. What you can always do is always try the hacks in a less obvious spot and see if they work. And one side note, this experiment was done and cleaned up on the spot. So if you have stains on the back for a long time, you may not be able to clean it up as easily as the video shows. However, you can still try though. So before cleaning, you need to prepare a bowl. Pour the mild dish detergent and water in and mix it well. For the second one, you can also try fabric detergent. Make sure that it's mild because the last thing you want is to ruin your favorite bag's fabric. Then add some water and mix it well. Prepare a toothbrush or soft brush, a sponge, tissue, and a cloth. Let's start with milk first. As you can tell, the bags can repel the milk and it will slide off the bag. You can wipe it off with a cloth or you can use diluted dish detergent and use a sponge to rub the surface. Wipe the water with a dry cloth and air dry it. Sometimes, it is inevitable to drop food with tomato sauce onto your bag. But no worries, you can just take a wet cloth and wipe it off just like this. If you feel that there is some oil residue on it, you can take a sponge and dip it in the dish detergent solution and gently wipe it off. Use a towel to wipe off the excess water and air dry it. Or you can just simply take a piece of wet wipes and wipe the tomato sauce off the back easily and you should be able to get this result next the dark soy sauce we all love it but hate it when it gets on our clothes or bags if you happen to eat out and splat some soy sauce on your back like this please don't panic get some dry tissues to dab the soy sauce off the surface softly on a spot with no delay after that Wipe the stain off with a piece of wet wipes. The stain should come off easily and you will have your clean bag back again. Or you can take a sponge and dip it in the dish detergent solution and gently wipe it off. If you are a coffee lover, you will probably be able to relate to this coffee splash on your favorite backpack. Oops, it hurts by looking at it man. Again, you can start by softly dabbing them off with dry tissues. But if you see some stains, you can scrub them with the soap and a water solution with the sponge. From here, you can see that darker liquid tends to leave some stains behind. So if you happen to accidentally spill something on the bags, you should wipe it off as soon as possible. There are always times when you must put your backpack on the floor and the bottom of your bag may become dirty like this. This is headache for every student or maybe parents, but let's see how I can clean up this mess. Take a wet cloth and wipe the surface in same direction. Do this a few times, but you should make sure that the cloth is clean every time you wipe it through. If you still see any left behind stains after doing so, you can take a toothbrush and dip it into the fabric detergent and brush it too. Wipe the soap off with a towel. 
air dry and it will be as clean as new. Have you ever spilled oil on your back, which leaves a big dark stain on your back and you can't get it off? No worries, I tried this method and it worked. Softly wipe it off with a clean cloth, then sprinkle some talcum powder on the stained spot and leave it there for a few minutes until the talcum powder soaks up the oil and then carefully brush it off with a toothbrush. You can always repeat the steps using talcum powder and a toothbrush until the stain goes away completely. Once the stains are gone, you can wipe the back with the soap water using a sponge. After that, you can just leave it there to air dry. Last but not least, the whiteboard marker and the permanent marker. If you or others accidentally leave the marker ink in the bag, you may not notice these marks straight away. So I conducted the experiment with context taken into consideration. I try to leave the ink on the bags and let them stay there for about 15 minutes plus. I tried brushing it off with a soap water solution, but it doesn't seem to help it. So I tried using hand sanitizer it somehow works, but it may still leave a lightened mark there. I also try to clean it up with a nail polish remover. It seems like there's nothing I can do to get rid of the stain as well. So be careful and know that especially with permanent markers, it is quite impossible to get rid of them entirely. Here are some extra back tips. Sometimes something might get stuck in the zippers don't yank it off but try putting some oil or lip balm on the zips and it should help most bags are not recommended to put under direct sunlight after washing so try not to put them under the sun remember to always air dry them if you are going to clean up a big patch of dirt always do a small part first to prevent staining the other parts in the bag if you were to clean with sanitizer or nail polish remover don't rub in circles, but dab on the stained surface and use a clean towel to wipe away the ink. If you are going to keep the donut bags away, you should stuff something in it to maintain the bag shape and always lay it flat so that these straps here will not bend like this. Most importantly, please never soak your bag in water. Don't step on it and don't yell at it. Hey, get out of here! That's common sense, I suppose. Alright, that's all for today. If you are a return subscriber, you can probably tell we are trying out a new video format here. Leave a comment down below and tell us if you like this kind of format without me showing my beautiful face. And please, gently smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified once we uploaded a new video and yeah go ahead and follow our instagram too all in all don't forget to sanitize your back after your home or wipe it with antibacterial wipes stay safe stay healthy and most importantly stay at home see you in the next video bye